Hello everyone, Jerk here and welcome to the big show. We're interrupting our regularly scheduled broadcast of Kraken 178 to instead bring you Kraken 179. I've got the other one ready to go, but I had this game this morning and I thought it would be nice to have a game where we get back to more strategy and crushing an entire team and then we can get back to the funny stuff in the next one. And this is definitely a good match. I end this game with eight medals. Here is my commander setup, same as before, though I have been trying out some different things of late. For this match, I'm sticking with the tried and true. And to get things started, we're back on Greece and I'm on A spawn. I traditionally like to get my nose between A and B, but after checking the ships that I spawn next to, I opt to go ahead and push towards A. The Vladivostok is a ship you do not want to be caught broadside in, so I'm going to angle out in anticipation of a rain of AP, but instead, it looks like the forecast calls for golden showers. Looks like someone on the red team thought it would be wise to start blasting away in their flint, but a pro tip here, just because you can fire on someone, doesn't mean you should, especially in a light cruiser. Wait until you get into cover or your own personal forecast might call for hail. Крейсер врага потоплен. Первая кровь. Scratch another one. All right, so what do we know? Benson is on A, our Belfast is up there, but it's out in the open and it's not going to last long. The Iowa that spawned with us is pretty much exactly where they started. No one is on C and our destroyers are both wasting their time on B rather than do anything useful. B is a trap on this map for destroyers. Do not get on it. Any ship, preferably a cruiser or a brawling battleship, is just as useful if not more so on B. Destroyers need to go to the flanks and spot for the team. I want to push up to A here, but you may have noticed the red team has a Roma facing this way from B. Excellent work on that Roma's part, a great position. If I continue the way that I want, that Roma is going to have access to my broadside, so I'm going to sort of nose towards the Roma and get closer to A, while our Belfast has unfortunately just been sunk. bounce one salvo from the Roma right there, but I'm not quite close enough to be able to get the turn in that I want to be able to get my nose pointing into A. So I'm going to have to continue to push this way until one more salvo from that Roma, and then I can adjust my angle. And this is real risky right here. This much broadside, that Roma probably could have done some very serious damage. But he's got 24-ish seconds now to reload so I can get this turn in that I've been wanting. And now I should be safe. Uh, of course, of course there's a goddamn Wichita just spamming HE from the back 40 because that's all they know how to do. And my team? Well, one ship has pushed C by themselves. Our destroyers are still wasting their time on B, unable to do literally anything. Okay, figuratively. And the rest of my team has decided to come down here. Why? Why? I was really hoping to be able to spot somebody through the grease bridge here, but uh, no such luck this time. Our ship on sea, who was abandoned by the people who spawned with him, goes down unfortunately. But I can see their Benson is shooting at our Iowa, so if I can get a line of sight on him, I should be able to take him out. And there he is. So, thinking he'll probably accelerate, I aim ahead of him. 
and he ends up driving right into my shells. So, once again, I am a battleship sinking destroyers. <laughs> Great work, guys. Thanks for the support, and thanks for everybody coming down here to help me cafe. That is really not what I needed. But now that it is done, I can make my way over to B. And of course, there are two ships to deal with along the way. A King George and a Wichita. And of course, my whole team is behind me and I'm leading the charge. So I'm going to be the one who's focused. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that our team all came down here rather than set up crossfires for these ships. So just where do my teammates think the red team are? Why are they continuing to push west through those islands? It, it is a truly bizarre mentality. They're probably trying to get behind cover, but why would you go away from the action? The action is clearly all going to be to the east, so there is no reason to head west. All you're going to do is get more and more out of position. And in spite of myself having the most fire resistant lad you possibly can, you can see I am constantly being lit on fire. So I'm going to turn into this. Hello, there is an Akatsuki. Fortunately, guys, the destroyer hunting battleship is here. So uh, maybe I will take care of that rather than anyone else. So my plan of action here is pretty simple and straightforward. I want to use the island on my right to block all the HE spam being fired by that skillless Wichita. I want to get my nose towards the Roma to block any shells while I assist in sinking it. And I want to use the island in the center to be able to limit the angle from which their destroyer can find any torpedoes at me. Now, I have to wonder, was this worth it for our destroyer? He doesn't even sink the Roma, and instead he goes down, but fine. Well, I will yoink this kill. I don't even consider it yoinking, considering where I am and considering where the rest of my team is, which is chasing down that King George. Another double fire. I'm being HE spammed by something else, and I'm starting to burn through my damage cons. I only have one left, but here come some torpedoes, and I am successfully dodging all of these. And I get on fire once again. Oh, there is a very weak Belfast, but this should not be an issue for the reliable Vladivostok guns. <laughs> okay, uh, one more try on these. A Vlad canvas and another double fire. Well,. This is probably not a good choice to burn that damage con right there because there are torpedoes going to be coming at me real soon. But I did it anyway, and hopefully this is going to work out. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to flood out. And what do you know? Another fire from that skillless Wichita captain. I've gone ahead and switched my shells over to HE because I'm anticipating that this Akatsuki captain is going to do something real dumb. But where are they? Oh, I'm not actually spotted by, I'm spotted by a Fiji. <laughs> well, I do have HE loaded and you're gonna see me make another mistake right here. Not that I'm firing it, but I switch my ammo before I fire my rear turret. Whoops. Oh, but my big old 152 secondaries come in and net us that Kraken 179 in the Vladivostok. And then why did I switch back to AP? Well, you know what? The AP does numbers on destroyers too. So all I'm going to have to do is uh, dodge some torps. Don't worry, folks. 
Destroyer Hunter is on the case. Now, where are those torpedoes? Uh, this looks like we're going to be fine. Oh, and what do you know? Another fire from the skillless Wichita. And now I'll bastardize a quote by the great Tony Wilson, co-founder of Factory Records, home of great bands like Joy Division, The Happy Mondays, and others. The Wichita is like jazz. It is the last refuge for the talentless. And I don't know this player. Maybe they rarely play this ship, so this isn't a direct commentary on them, but just in general on the sheer number of players who prefer to play brain-dead simple ships like the Wichita, the U and the Jean Bart. You will never be as good at this game as you could be if those are the ships you play majoritively. The skill floor is bottom of the barrel with them, and yes, if you're having fun, then who cares? I do. I care because you're missing out on becoming a better player, and that has a direct effect on your teammates. And I'm not saying that this doesn't apply to people who play other ships, I'm simply stating the majority of those I'm talking to stick to those three ships. With that out of the way, <laughs> you can see me doing some good old fashioned trolling here. My will to rebuild is active, and the Wichita simply doesn't have the firepower to be able to sink me fast enough. I was hoping they'd continue to come at me, bro. But they instead opt for what? Going behind an island and delaying the inevitable. The game is over. There is no way they can win, but the only question now is who's going to get the last shot? I'm I'm in reverse here trying to stay within my will to rebuild range with this Cleveland. But this Cleveland has plans of his own. They will do in death what they were unable to accomplish in life, and that is sink a ship by ramming. So no jackpot for me. Which is a shame, as I haven't had one of those since, uh, when was it? Oh right, yesterday. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can do that now to make sure that you don't miss the video on it. So let's check the results. Eight medals and just over 3,000 XP, which is very good. And look at this results screen. That tells you everything you need to know, guys. <laughs> Questions, comments, requests, feel free to leave them below. If you like putting the team on your back, hit like. If you prefer to ride on someone else's coattails, hit dislike. I'll get back out there for another one. And we will talk soon.